Welcome, Welcome to Post Bag. Bag. 23. HP 53868 for counter. 10 hertz to 3 gigahertz. New toy for the playroom. Uh, be good to see how it works. Well, this is another item for the post bag. Um, I can spare the unboxing because there wasn't any. But uh, this is it. A bit tatty. So, as you can see. I'll turn it around. It's a Rakel Dana 9915 counter. Now they say they've tested input A up to 240 megahertz. And they say that input B works, but it's very insensitive. And uh, That is it in all its glory and dirt, totally uncleaned as it arrived. I want to find a mains lead. Doesn't sit very well on its mains lead, it sits at an angle. But as you can see, standby lights on which is just powering the um the oscillator it's not an oven or anything like that so uh well i don't think it is and then nothing check Ooh. It was strange to see what happens next time, or is it just needs time to warm up? Maybe it's, it does take a bit of time to warm up, but that's it in check mode on input B, which is the 10 hertz to 60 megahertz. It will read a test frequency of one megahertz. And on A, it reads 8888 to test all the, um, the signals, all the LED, sorry. So if we leave it on there, take it out, check. That resets it. And just, I don't want to see if it will actually work. Frequency mode. This is 400. 436, I don't know if you can actually put it so you can see it. Oh, there it goes on, oh, I'll try. Can you see it there? 
436-630-436-639. So pretty close. One four five zero 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 one four four nine 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 five. So that's that's channel B. And uh, that picks up and it's pretty close to what the little handheld says it should be. Channel A I'm gonna get a bit wobbly because I'm going over the camera to uh, Get to a signal generator. The signal generator should be set to 140-ish kilohertz. So we are 140. I'm going to switch that onto there. It'll take 10 seconds to get a reading. Hopefully, 140, and uh, if I tweak the little line down so it's dead on the 140 on the display of the oscillator, you know, it's moved down a little bit. So, my oscillator that hasn't been calibrated in 30, 40 years is a uh, it's an advanced electronics low distortion SG68 oscillator. But there you go, you know, it's that's on the sort of give it a higher update rate. Does the sensitivity do anything? If you turn it off to so there, it should it just disappears because that's switching in the low frequency option, which it doesn't have. But it says it goes down to 10 millivolts, and I'm putting in, oh yeah, three volts. So let's go down to what should be about 30 millivolts. And uh, if I take the oscillator away, so let's go down to one, let's go down to three millivolts according to this. Right, so three it doesn't do. Uh, times 10, 10 millivolts. So it's getting a bit, well, I don't know where we got the low level. No. It seems to be okay at that sort of, putting in about 10 millivolts according to the dial. And it's hunting around a bit. Let's go up to 20 millivolts. And yeah, that's pretty much locked. So, uh, not bad for the grand sum of ten pounds. So that was a bargain. And that's uh, doing okay. Now, as you can see from this one, the one that you did see unboxed, it is very disappointing, and the fact that uh, it now reads zero. Did unpower it up after it was unboxed, and channel A, the 100 megahertz channel, worked. It was reasonably accurate, and channel B, totally dead. You know, even though on eBay it was listed as working, channel B, totally dead. It was just a fixed. It just fixed. It was a fixed display of about two gigahertz. So I had a chat with the buyer, and we knocked some money off, as uh, that's not fixable. I just thought, well, okay, the 100 megs is okay. But uh, this is only about the fourth time now of powering it on. And hit the check button. It says the CPU has passed. Comes up with the address. So the GPI B bit is working okay. That should give you some numbers to show what part of the counting mechanism on the inside is doing. And uh, 00, 00 or FF or 5255 is a uh, fault so that's a fault reset puts it back to there and normally when you press check the first time 
it measures its internal oscillator and as you can see zero so currently it's totally dead so that will be another video we'll take it apart and uh, see what we can find so if you enjoyed this post bag if you like to see hit the subscribe button hit the little bell please comment hit the, hit the thumbs up thumbs down youtube likes to see interaction and uh you know stay tuned for some some more videos